Hi everybody, I'm in Germany today again. I've been searching for a while now and I found some bullets. Very good condition. I also found this uh, strange thing, I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of a small shovel that's broken. Uh, and this shell casing, it's a nine millimeter from 1943. There you can see the broad arrow and on the bottom nine millimeter. And right now, I just found this amazing coin. The condition is absolutely fantastic. It's still a little bit dirty. It says 10 centimes and something French. Um, and if we turn it around, there's the date 1861. And it's an absolutely fantastic condition. All right guys, not on a World War II location today. Well, actually, it's also a World War II location, but most of the finds here are very, very old. I found a lot of um, old coins here before from the 1600s and stuff. Silver coins also. Very nice hammered coins and buttons and yeah, a lot of very nice stuff. And the first find of the day is this very old tool. Uh, I don't know how to call it at the moment, but it's to do this. So uh, yeah, it's definitely old. It's a very cool first find. Not a lot of time, but Let's see what we can find. All right, guys, next interesting find is a very old shovel. Awesome, let's carry on. All right, next find is going to be the part of a brush, very old brush, painting brush. Probably making a painting from the nice environment and lost one of the brushes, maybe. <laughs> cool. Oh yes, I finally found a coin, but um, yeah, it's a post-war coin, but it's still in very good condition. Look at that, the date, 1953. So it's a coin, awesome. This is a pretty strange object, what I just found. I have no idea what this is. Looks pretty old, still has some white paint. Remains of it right there, as you can see. Hmm, it looks like uh, you can put it like this. I don't know, it's a strange item. All right, the last find is going to be a coin, and this one is actually from the 1800s. It's a Belgian coin, and it's in um, not in the best condition. It's pretty hard to see because it's already getting dark. You can already hear the crickets, so um, yep, definitely time to leave. But uh, yep, it's a coin from the 1800s, so that's nice, and it took me a long time. It's a very small hole, and it isn't deep at all, but the ground is very, very tough. But uh, yeah, cool. Hi everybody, today in the forest where I found a lot of very cool stuff before. Just found some exploded pieces of shrapnel and stuff like that. And right now, I just discovered this. Um, it's some kind of a tube and says Nescafe. So yeah, I would say this was um, used by the soldiers. Instant coffee or something like that. Yeah, why else uh, would you dump this in the forest? It's a US position and a German position. So um, that's an interesting find. Let's see what we can find more today. All right, guys, I'm really happy at the moment. Why? Because this is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's a foxhole right there. I don't know if you can see it, but I will show you later. Uh, I still have to detect in there, but right now, I just found something fantastic. It was a pretty bad signal, actually. Do you know what that is, guys? Well, I do, and you probably also do. If you don't, you're gonna know it right now. This right here is a German World War II Mauser K98K. Granatenwerfer. This is to shoot rifle grenades. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. It was right there under the leaves. Um, it's not in the best condition, but I don't give a This is absolutely amazing. You mount this on your rifle, then you can see the distance and stuff like that, and then you can fire grenades. Oh, how cool is that? So this is a part of a weapon. This is absolutely amazing and I found one before and that was in the Hurtgen forest uh, so this is my second one but this is absolutely fantastic look at that guys definitely a German World War II Mauser K98 Granatenwerfer how cool is that this is amazing yes 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 oh yeah Another crazy find here guys. Look at this. 16 coins in one hole. All right here. Um, I believe they are all post-war, but uh, still <laughs> it's a small treasure. That is absolutely fantastic. 16 coins just in one hole. Awesome. 
and the next find is a bullet it's in very bad condition and by the way guys uh, there were actually 17 coins not 16 <laughs> but yep it's a bullet so that is very cool let's carry on right here you can see a foxhole and right next to it I just found this and uh, I believe this is some kind of a fuse exploded fuse all right that's another great find I'm not gonna keep this one it's in very bad condition but uh yep it's another World War II find or World War One find all right guys I just found something I don't really like to find look at this big explosive this is my hand and as you can see it's a pretty big one and pretty dangerous there you can see the fuse definitely still dangerous Here you can see this is a aluminum fuse wow all right next find is going to be a shovel well the remains of a shovel or a spade completely rotted away as you can see probably for making the trenches and the foxholes in this area there are a lot of them so um, definitely makes sense another world war ii era find but yeah very bad condition so i'm not gonna keep it i really don't know what this is um this is maybe from a tire I found a lot of World War II um, vehicle stuff before here, but also an ammo dump right next to uh, where I just found this. So could this be some kind of a fuse or is it just uh, from a tire? One thing for sure, it's old. All right, guys, I just discovered another very, very interesting location um, right here. Look at all this charcoal. It's just completely full of it. And what I just found in the hole is this. A lot of batteries, definitely World War II era batteries um, used by the Americans and this right here you know what that is guys this right here is the part of a US World War II field radio how cool is that guys look at this yep I definitely recognize it oh and it's falling apart right there as you can see but I don't care it's still an absolutely fantastic find I don't know why they threw this in the fire but um, they definitely had a campfire here also uh, pieces of glass and pieces of leather and a lot of batteries very very interesting and if you do this right here there you can see all the burned stuff look at that it's completely full there's another battery and yeah burned wood and stuff like that very very cool it's still there there you can see some more stuff burned stuff wow but this right here this is very very cool I really need to go right now guys because it's um, yeah, a long uh, drive home. But yeah, this is going to be the last find and as you can see it's the bottom of a very big shell casing. There you can see the primer and it's made from iron. Only the primer is still in good condition but too bad it's not marked right there. But yeah, it's definitely a very big shell casing. It was a very big shell casing. It was right there. Still remains of, uh, of the rest right there as well. But it just rotted away, very bad condition. But look at that, that is very cool. Could also be from the first world war, one thing for sure. It's from one of the two wars. Hi everybody, I'm in Germany today in a very, very interesting location. I'm together with a potato digger today. Check out his channel. The link of his channel is in the description. He found a lot of very cool stuff on this position. Look at this, look at all these trenches. A lot of interesting stories here, a lot of interesting finds, and um, yeah, I joined him today. And look at this, this is just absolutely unbelievable. So many bomb craters, foxholes, trenches, unbelievable. Wow, let's see what we can find here today. My first find is uh, this some kind of hook, maybe used for a tent or something, I'm not sure. Found right next to the trench, so um, yeah, definitely World War II related. Let's carry on. Holy Look at that, that's a huge, look at that. My next find is going to be the part of an explosive. You can still see uh, the ring from uh, firing, from turning around, you know. Very, very cool, it's definitely the back. And it's exploded right next to the trench again. Awesome. And look at that, that's a very old button. And also a lot of Napoleon stuff happened here. So uh, maybe from uh, that time frame, looks older. Yeah, that's a very cool find. Oh yeah, you know what that is guys? That's a German Mauser K98 shell casing or Mauser K98K or just eight mm Mauser. The date is 1941. It says EMP, I believe, and a S and a small star, which means brass. Very nice, it was in there. So uh, yeah, pretty strange. Uh, to find it right in there between these big roots and old tree and right next to this trench very cool 
Mauser shell casing. Oh yeah. Right guys, right next to where I found the shell casing in this trench, I just found this bottle. Could this be a German World War II medical bottle? Who knows, it's inside of a trench, so I'm definitely gonna keep it. And shell casing number two, another German one, and again, right next to a trench. It's actually impossible to uh, not find it next to a trench because it's everywhere you look there are trenches. Trench. And a relic. This is what I just found. This is a uh, M1 carbine life round. And on the bottom, you can see it's from 1943 and it's in great condition. I just cleaned it a little bit. And as you can see, it's already shiny. Unbelievable. Very cool. Just found uh, another M1 carbine life round uh, pretty close to the other one. And um, right now, right over here, just under the leaves. I just found a US 30 cal. Right there you can see it says SL 1943. Very good condition, very, very cool. Again, next to a trench. Take a look at that, right next to a trench again. A very, very nice 50 cal shell casing. And take a look at the hat stamp, 43. TW 1943. Wow, that's a very nice one. Very good condition, awesome. Whoa, look at that. That is a very, very old buckle. Oh man, that is a very cool find. Look at that, that is, wow. That is awesome, guys. Definitely not World War II. Right, I thought I just found a nine millimeter live round, but it's actually something else. It's a very strange, it looks like a bullet, but it's hollow and yeah, I'm just not sure what it is. Looks like a, definitely looks like a bullet. Hmm, yep, that's definitely from the Napoleon stuff. Look at that, a musket ball, awesome find. Look at that. And I'm pretty sure this is uh, some kind of explosive. Oh yeah, I just made another cool find. Look at that, that's a German button. A typical German World War II army button with the three holes made from aluminum. And it looks like it's still in pretty good condition. That's another great find, guys. All right, I believe I just found the remains of a very old button. Looks like the shank is supposed to be there and yeah, it's falling apart. I'm not sure if it's a button. I think so, looks like it, it's a good signal. And uh, yeah, it's definitely old. I really didn't know what I just found. It looks pretty strange. It's supposed to be uh, wood in there, I believe. I can see a nail. Hmm, I really don't know. All right, here you can see a trench. It goes all the way up there. And actually right on the edge of the trench, I just found the remains of a um, incendiary bomb. That is pretty cool. They definitely uh, bombed these uh, trenches with uh, everything they had. Look what I just found. A very, very nice axe head. That's always beautiful on the wall. <laughs> cool find. Here's the trench again. And right here behind me is pretty deep. And right next to the trench, I just found this. I'm not gonna keep it, but uh, yeah, it's a cool find. All right, I just found this tool. And this could easily also be from the Second World War. Not sure, of course, but uh, yeah, it's definitely possible. Look at that. Just on the edge of a very, very big crater. I just found this knife, or um, remains of a knife. It had a uh, wooden handle that's rotted away. It's stainless steel and it's very sharp. This could easily be from the same time frame. And that's another button. It looks very old again. It still has the shank, as you can see. Another very cool find. Oh yeah, that's 50 cal number two. Look at that. Very, very nice. Always very cool to find. Probably from a plane or something. Another very cool World War II find. I just found this right next to the 50 cal. It's aluminum, it's a tube, and I believe this is for pills or something, tablets. It has a hole on the bottom and also on the side right there. Another interesting find. And that's another German shell casing from 1935. Right there on top, you can see 35 from 1935, P186 and S in the small star. Very nice. And right next to where I found the uh, German shell casing, I just found another 50 cal. How cool is that? All right, guys, I'm today in the same forest where I found the aiming piece for the Mauser K98 K grenade launcher and um, this is actually my first find. I found this very close to where I found the aiming uh, thing for the Mauser. I believe I found this before in this location and everybody was saying that it was the grenade launcher from the Mauser. So um, I'm not sure what this is but this really looks like the part of a weapon and I also found next to the place where I found the um, aiming piece for the Mauser. So could this be the part of a weapon? It sure looks like it. So uh, what could this be? Interesting first find. Well actually the first find is a horseshoe. Very old horseshoe but uh, yeah this is the second find very cool let's carry on all right guys i just found a tube well a uh, as you can see it's very small i'm not gonna open it up right now because i'm pretty sure if i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put it in my bag it's gonna fall apart and i don't want that but i'm 100 sure this is also from the second world war it's lead it's very heavy so definitely from the same time frame uh yeah also from the soldiers very cool i'm gonna put it in my bag and i'm gonna see what it says when i'm home right guys another interesting find i just found this and it's 
definitely exploded. I immediately recognized it because it's exactly the same thing that I just found. Look, but this one is exploded, so it's just some kind of an explosive. I really don't know. I'm yeah, I'm 100% sure it's from the Second World War or maybe the First World War, but um yeah, it's definitely exploded this one and it's definitely the same one as well. So, that is very strange. Hmm, what could this be? Very curious right now. Take a look at this beautiful foxhole right here. I hope you can see it on the camera right next to this tree. Very nice foxhole and I just found this right next to it. And I think it's again the same thing, but then exploded in a very strange way. Look at that. I'm not gonna keep this one, but um, yep, it's definitely exploded again. It's definitely also from the same time frame next to a foxhole. Let's see what we can find more in this area. All right guys, so uh, the foxhole that I just showed you is actually even more interesting than I thought. I had a very small signal inside of the foxhole. I don't know if you can see it on the camera because there's a lot of shade and stuff and leaves. But um, I had a signal inside of the foxhole, very small signal, and I started digging. It's a very deep hole. It was pretty hard to dig there uh, because of all these irritating plants. The ground is very soft, but it's uh, still a very deep foxhole, very cool. I just uh, pulled this one out and everybody knows what this is. This is the rocket for a uh, US World War II bazooka. As you can definitely see, that's the nose. And that's the tail right there. And there is even another signal inside of the foxhole. But uh, yeah, take a look at that. That's definitely a rocket for a bazooka. That's very cool to find. But at the same moment, of course, um, very dangerous because it's still life. Um, so we're not gonna mess with that. All right, so uh, this uh, is what still was inside of the foxhole. I really don't know what it is. I'm not gonna keep it, but it's definitely from uh, the Second World War. All right, guys, right next to the foxhole was another foxhole and I had another good signal. This is what I found inside of this foxhole. I first thought it was a big shell casing because it was around like that, but I really don't know what this is. It's pretty uh, pretty hard to take it out, but um, I really don't know. What could this be? One thing for sure, it's definitely uh, from the same time frame again, but I, I really don't know what this is. All right, guys, the stuff you can find in and around around a foxhole, bombs and stuff like that, and a fire extinguisher. That's a pretty strange find. Looks like it's still full. <laughs> Probably not. <sighs> hmm. Looks like the pin is missing. How does it work? Oh, that. Don't think that's supposed to happen. Yeah, it's definitely still full. It's also actually some kind of a bomb. Let's throw it away. Right, just had a very good signal, but it was right on top and I actually thought it was trash. But look at this. That's a World War II US coffee ration. There you can see coffee, cup coffee, I believe, New York. And uh, yep, definitely US World War II ration. That is very, very cool. Let's carry on. Right, so I was uh, walking right here and I noticed that the ground was very soft right here. So it was definitely a foxhole. I started swinging my detector and I had a very, very small signal just a beep, beep. But I started digging and uh, the signal was getting bigger. And yep, it's definitely a foxhole. This is what I found inside. A lot of pieces of glass and some kind of a small teapot or something. I don't know, it's uh, tin, I believe. We have some communication wire, or some uh, electricity stuff, the headlight or something like that, I don't know. This is rubber, I believe this is from a bicycle, from the wheel or something. Pieces of a very small shoe, piece of leather, and another kid shoe, which is pretty strange. Um, I think this is maybe from the destroyed houses. After the war, they dumped it in the forest. Very interesting, gonna put it back in the hole and let's carry on. All right, so there's a crater over there and just found some cooking pans and stuff like that. Also from the same uh, time frame. And right now, this is what I just found. Yeah, again, it looks interesting, but I don't know what it is. It's supposed to turn, and then that is going to turn, and then this goes up, I believe. And another interesting find. This right here is a M1 carbine shell casing. Very nice, let's carry on. Right there is where I found the radio stuff the last time. And right over here, I just found this interesting item. That on the top right there is leather, this, and you can open it up like that. And there you can see, you can move it. Could this be? the part of our radio or something like that. I don't know. It looks pretty interesting. So like I said, this is leather. I am going to take it with me because it looks very interesting. All right, so uh, I did a recheck on the hole and look at this. There was another one in there and a big piece of leather and also a small lock. And I believe this lock supposed to be um, right there. It's like this one, I think so. Square piece of leather. That is very interesting. What could this be? What is this? There's also leather right there on this one. Hmm. And the next find is going to be a tent ring. So this could be from a poncho maybe, or from a tent. Probably uh, from the soldiers having their camp here. Very, very interesting. All right, guys. All right, guys, all right, guys. I am so excited right now. I'm gonna do a small dance because I found something very, 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 very cool. Oh, yeah. Guys, you know what that is? I am so happy. You know what that is? 
Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is the lid of a German World War II Kochgeschirr M31 Mestin. Wow, 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 guys. I am so excited. Look at this. Normally the date would be on there, and that piece is made of iron, but I really don't give a shit. Looks like it's made from aluminum, this part, yes it is. Oh yes, 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 I'm so happy. I am so happy, I am so happy. I'm gonna take this out very carefully. All the mud and stuff with one hand. It's pretty hard to do that with one hand. Oh, oh man, this, this is so cool. Oh man, 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 man. I am so excited. Look at this, guys. Oh. Oh, man. Get out of there! There you go. <laughs> yes. Wow, and look at that. What happened with it? Oh. This is so cool, guys. Take a look at this beautiful piece of history. Oh, M31 Kochgeschirr. Oh, yeah. Wow. It was already a great day, but this is just absolutely amazing. And I feel something crawling on my back at the moment, but I really don't, I really don't care. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, man. Look at that. This is beautiful. I love this hobby. <laughs> right guys, so uh, I cleaned it a little bit right there and look at that. There are even initials in it. I believe it says HP or HR or HB. Wow, this is so personal. I mean, a soldier was eating out of this. Really, really happy. Another piece of history saved. Right guys, just done a recheck in the hole and look at that. Also still found this part and it's actually in pretty good condition still for iron one. So yeah, it's broken. Broken, but I really don't care. It's still there. There you can see the hook. This goes under the uh, bottom part of the Kochgeschirr. Um, the strap goes like that and then the strap goes through that, over that, and then on your bread bag or whatever. That is very cool. It's still there. A lot of green paint still remaining right there. Yep, this is a fantastic find. Like that. Look at the difference between these finds. This is one of the coins that we found together with all the coins. And this is a bullet found in that location. And this is a bullet that we found in the first location and the coin from the 1800s. Look at this. That one is from the 1970s. And it looks like it's from before Christ. And this one is from 1800 and look at the condition. 10 centimeters and if we turn it around, you can see a very nice lion with the date 1861. Then we have this World War II bullet in absolutely fantastic condition compared to this one. Wow, very bad. Here we have some very old stuff uh, we've got three buttons nothing on them uh, just very very old buttons and we have this very nice buckle take a look at that that is very very nice very old handmade buckle then we have this uh, musket ball that definitely hits something and we have this small pendant or something there is definitely something right there but I can't see what it is unknown strange old item uh, bullets more bullets. I believe this is actually uh, for painting or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I actually forgot to clean this one. Then we have M1 carbine shell casing and another one. We also found live ones, but we uh, never take live ones with us. Uh, we have this very nice 9mm shell casing. 1943 9mm broad arrow. Very nice. Then right next to it, we have a M1 carbine bullet in very good condition. And another one, which is flat. That definitely hits something. Uh, I believe this is a tracer or something. I'm not sure. Then we have this. I believe this one is a post-war hunting bullet and a very very nice nine millimeter. This is a small bottle that we found in the trench. Could this be a German medical bottle? What? I thought for a moment it said uh, LOL, but it's 101. But yeah, could this be from the Second World War? Found in the trench? Who knows? Here we have the Nescafe, and I believe this is from the Second World War. I couldn't find it, but uh, yeah, looks very old. Then we have this ration, cup cafe, um, soluble coffee product. Very nice to find always. Not in the best condition, but still a very good find. And a tool found on the German position. And then we have the um, toothpaste. It says dentifrice, I believe. Um, I'm not gonna open it up because it's yeah just falling apart and uh, yeah I don't want that to happen so uh, here we have this small tube I believe for pills probably also from the Germans here we have this item uh, this was found in the foxhole and it says lavette Bosch or something like that and uh, this is part of a, a motorcycle or a car or something like that but it's uh, definitely also from the same time frame here we have the tent ring from aluminum and the German button also from aluminum this one is actually still in very good condition 
look at that and they use these on uh, everything absolutely everything bread bags and uh, jackets just a typical German World War II army button then I want to show you these items these are actually way more interesting than I thought when I was cleaning it I actually recognized the shape it says Schrader made in USA and then a small star in the top on the right as you can see and then it says 8665 and if you type that on Google you immediately find out what this is this is a part from a US World World War II life belt. You know the, the belts that they use with the air inside on D-Day? Yep, that's a part of one. Very strange, found together with the radio piece. Why would they burn these things? I don't know. It's very strange, but one thing for sure, it's a very, very special and very cool find. So, yep, maybe this one was on D-Day. Who knows, guys? Here you can see a picture from uh, one of those belts. And, uh, yep, that's the one I'm talking about. Then we have this radio piece. Um, I know it's a part of a radio because I've seen it before, but I can't find any pictures of it. So I cannot show you which part it is. But uh, I found one before years ago and it's the same one. And it says something right there. Uh, you cannot see it on the camera right now, but it says something with faults and stuff like that. There, there, and there. You can still see some electricity stuff. Also some electricity stuff. Yeah, right now you can see it's 7.5 volts i think uh, these are parts of the life belt or maybe from the radio also and here we have a very very nice knife look at that it's razor sharp yep it's a very nice knife it's supposed to be wood on there very nice and sharp part of an incendiary also part of an incendiary uh, some pieces of shrapnel we've got this uh, lit from a cigarette casing there you can see some kind of a logo seahorse then we have this exploded grenade look at that you can still see the ring from turning around that's a very very cool find there we have the exploded piece it's the same as this one uh, still don't know what it is i found some items that really looks like it and the other one that I found before was hollow on this side but it looks like there is a small hole right there and there is a hole right there so is it some kind of a grenade launcher is it some kind of a grenade or is it maybe a um, piece of a weapon I don't know guys please leave a comment if you do but uh, yep it's a very interesting item then we have the bottom of a very very big shell casing completely rotted away but still definitely recognizable here we have some very nice 50 cals uh, three German shell casings and a 30 cal US there you can see the hat stamps all the American shell casings are actually 1943, but just look at the condition. The sound, absolutely fantastic. Here we have the three German shell casings, also in very, very nice condition. This one is from 1941. And of course, here we have the aiming piece from the Mauser K98K for shooting rifle grenades. It's actually in pretty good condition still. It can be cleaned more than this, but um, yeah, right now it already looks very, very nice. Definitely from a World War II German grenade launcher. Yeah, guys, that's a very, very cool find. And of course, the best find of all, the lid of the German World War II M31 Kochgeschirr. If I'm going to clean it, this is all going to fall off because it's aluminum and it's drying right now. But as you can see right on the top, there are the initials. I believe it's H. R or maybe HB, I'm not sure what it is, but definitely initial. So that is very, very cool. Makes it even more personal. But if we turn it around like this, we can see a lot of paint still remaining. The strange thing is actually this is brown paint and that is green. Normally the date would be right there. We can't see that because it's um, iron, but look at this. I didn't clean the inside too much because I want to show you this. You can still see the scratches from eating. It's from a knife. You can see a lot of small scratches from um, going with the fork and the spoon and stuff. That is very cool. I want to keep it that way, so I'm not gonna clean this anymore. I just wanna keep it like this. And of course the handle also. This is bent. Normally it would be straight. Just an absolutely fantastic find. Yeah, guys. We found a lot of very cool stuff again. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And subscribe if you want to see more metal detecting videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.